I'm making brajole with tomato sauce and homemade orecchiette. On Sundays, this is our special Sunday dinner, and so I thought I'd make it for Chef Bonaccini. I'm a little bit old. <laughs> I want to be the oldest master chef in Canada. I think it'd be amazing. But also, I know my daughter, and she's always wanted to open a place of her own, and so I hope that through this, I can make their dream come true as well. And you made me cry. <laughs> Six pack, just think about those white aprons. That's the kind of motivation we need to see. I'm gonna do a cap steak with a potato croquette. Hey there, Steven. Hey, how are you? So tell me, what's it like for you cooking under this competitive energy here? It's awesome. I'm trained for it with skating. It's like, ooh, it's fun. I am an international junior level figure skater. I like to win, but I need to compete. It's the rush. It's like a drug. I might be the youngest one here, but like Becky last year, age is just a number. <coughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's a good step, Chanel. Hi there, Chanel. Hi. So tell me what dish you're cooking using that gorgeous beef. A pan-seared filet and a white wine and cream tarragon sauce. My mom's been making it for literally my whole life. It came from one of her restaurants. So that's where you got your love of food, is it, in cooking? Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up around it at all times. So yeah, I got the bug, so they say. I can't believe I have to open wine that I don't get to drink. 20 minutes, you only have 20 minutes left. Keep an eye on the clock. It moves pretty fast in this kitchen. Does it ever? The six pack has a lot more intensity than the previous group that we're cooking. Medic. Oh, man. Oh, Tony. I'm looking at the clock. There's 20 minutes left. There's still a lot to do. Damn it. It's all right, Tony. Just breathe. My muscle chef dream is done. I don't know if I should make the order get or not. Okay, I need to knead the dough. I can do it with one hand, but then I need to roll it and form it. I can't. There is a, a jar full of orecchiette in the pantry, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna use those. Good thinking, Tony. Yeah. It wasn't in the plan. You're adapting, you're yep. doing great. We will make it work. I am showcasing beef, not the orecchiette. Trying to figure out the heat settings for the stove. I'm so outside my comfort zone, I might as well be on Mars. <laughs> a decade ago, me and my husband bought a 200-year-old farmhouse. We have pretty much the same kitchen that was there 100 years ago. I have a whisk, I have a wooden spoon, a few bowls. I have a wood wood stove. I feel like cooking in the MasterChef Canada kitchen is gonna be a dream, but it's also gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Jenny, the burner's on in front of you. Thank you. Hey there, Colin. Make sure you put a little extra seasoning on there. It looks a little light. No worries. Hi there, Tony. Chef Michael, how are you? I've got to have a little taste of that sauce. What do you think? È buono, è molto buono, è buonissimo. Grazie. Let's go, guys! Let's go, let's go! You only have one more minute left! You got to show Claudio and I what you're made of! Come on, guys, come on. Finish strong now. Gorgeous, Jenny. Nice, Jenny. Thank you. Perfect. See. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's beautiful, Tony. We're good to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heads up! Fantastic. Good job. Amazing. Good hustle out there, everybody. But now it's time to taste your dishes. Tony, what did you make with Michael's beef? Well, I made a brajola with parmigiano, with scamorza, with capicolo, pistachios. Well, Tony, it's not the most beautiful looking dish in the world. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Chanel, describe your dish here. We did pan-seared beef tenderloin and a white wine and cream tarragon sauce. I wish you had more of a sear on the beef here. 
However, the interior, perfect. Good. <laughs> So, Marie, what do we have here? You have tenderloin with chimichurri sauce. You got some nice combinations there. Thank you. But the steak is not seasoned enough. Colin, describe your dish here. It's uh, elevated Newfoundland Jigs dinner. I love the concept of the dish. Thank you very much. I like my steaks rare. It's delicious. Thank you very much. But you could have done with a lot more sauce. OK. What did you make? I made a pan-seared ribeye. This plate is really well composed. Thank you. A wonderful caramelization happening here. Very surprising, actually, coming from somebody that does not cook a lot of meat. Thank you. Seaman, tell me what's on the plate here. I have a cap steak with a rustic potato croquette. Plating-wise, I would have chose a bigger plate. OK. The steak, very delicious. Thank you so much. All right, Steven! Woo! Good job, buddy. Jenny, Stephen, Chanel, and Colin. It's clear that you all want the chance to get an apron. Well, you've got it. Ah! Yes. Congratulations. Come on up and get your aprons. I get an apron. <laughs> I did get me proud. To go from just mom to, you know, maybe I will be a chef someday. Yes, mom. <laughs> I excel cars in Halifax, but now I've got an apron. This is probably one of the best days of my life. Tony, this cook did not start well for you. You know that. You cut your finger, and you didn't have time to make your orecchiette. And it's up to me to tell you that we thought. Come on, Tones, come on. You made the most delicious beef dish of the bunch. Come on up and get your apron. Yeah, baby! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Truly, it's, it's a dream come true. It's been a great day. It's so proud of you. It's crazy. <laughs>